Development boards can be used to blink LED or you can use them for something else. Yes, today is a good day to die if my wife finds this video. Just kidding, this was classical clickbait. Let's find something else. In this video I will show you how to scroll any image on on any TFT display. You will also learn how pixels are stored in a memory and much more. Of course you will need to use ESP ESP32 because uh, the older Arduino don't have enough memory and speed for this. I made this sorry I made this be because these screens are sometimes too small to show the whole picture. So here is a solution. I will explain to you in detail how to make this with any TFT display but first I need to say a couple words about our sponsors. In my, in my last video I promised that I will make a game for this uh, TTGO T-Display S3 board. For that project I needed custom PCB similar to this one but I was lazy and too late but the good news is that my PCB is finished and it will arrive here in a few days this video is sponsored by PCBWay PCBWay will produce your PCBs very fast at great price Today I don't see any point to use perf boards. Feel free to check the PCB way site. I will leave a link in the description. Also hit that subscribe button or you will miss my game for this great development board. If you want you can buy me a coffee. Link is in the description some of the money will be spent on thank you let's start I will show you how to make uh, this and I will use this old version of TTGO uh, you can use any ESP32 board and any TFT screen but first let's learn something picture, picture is made of pixels each pixel has its own color. You can see that this picture has 100 pixels. If we want to display an image, we, can, we need to convert it to a format which can be read by TFT SPI library. Converted image looks like this. Array of 100 elements and each element represents one pixel. Type of data is short because short needs only two bytes. Our display use RGB 565 system so for each pixel we need 16 bits or two bytes and pixels in array are stored in this order. This is small picture but large 480 by 480 will we'll have much more pixels and since each pixel need two bytes, it will need lots of memory. Okay, let's make this. First, you will need picture. You will call it picture and you will resize it. Right now it is too large for our project, so I will open it in paint and I will resize it. four hundred and eighty by four hundred eighty is largest you want to go 
this will be even smaller so I will resize it and I will save it now you will go on this site you can find link in description so I will go choose file I will choose picture okay make file and I will go to download and I will save this in the same folder I will open this with any text editor I will select all and I will copy it so I will open code you can find code in the description and I will select all I will delete this and I will paste my picture size of my picture is 480 by 270 so here I will write these numbers 480 by 270 and here is size of our screen we are using TTGO so size of screen is 240 by 135 so how this work here we have a buffer a large buffer which is whole image and here we have small buffer which is size of our screen here we need to put screen width multiply by screen height so 240 by 235 is 32 and 400 and now I will connect my TT Go and here are results that's it thank you I hope you learned something and I hope I will still be alive next week for next video. Thank you and goodbye.